you. Green tea is often promoted as a natural aid in burning visceral fat, the harmful fat that surrounds internal organs. Here's a breakdown of how it works, when and how to use it, and who should be cautious. How does green tea actually help burn visceral fat? Well, green tea contains catechins, particularly epigallocatechin gallate, or EGCG, and a small amount of caffeine. These compounds may help boost metabolism, increase fat oxidation, enhance thermogenesis, uh, which is just a fancy way of saying heat production that burns calories, and mobilize stored fat, especially in the abdominal region. So, how and when should you use green tea? Oh, and please like and subscribe. The best times to drink green tea are in the morning or before workouts for a metabolism boost, or between meals, not on a very full or completely empty stomach. To prepare, simply steep one green tea bag or one teaspoon of loose leaves in hot but not boiling water for about two to three minutes. And for daily dosage, two to three cups per day is effective for most people. So, how long should you use green tea to notice any effects? Well, a minimum duration of about 8 to 12 weeks of daily use may show gradual fat loss effects. When it comes to long-term use, it's generally safe for most people as long as it's consumed in moderation. But, you know, the benefits of green tea go way beyond just fat loss. It can actually improve brain function and focus, which is pretty amazing. Plus, it's rich in antioxidants that may help reduce the risk of cancer. It also supports heart health by lowering LDL, that's the so-called bad cholesterol. Oh. And it may improve insulin sensitivity and help with blood sugar control. Not to mention it promotes longevity and healthy aging. Quite a list of benefits, isn't it? Now, is green tea bad for your health? And who should avoid it? While green tea is safe for most people, it can have side effects in certain cases. For instance, if you're sensitive to caffeine, it may cause things like jitteriness, insomnia, or even an increased heart rate. If you have iron deficiency, the tannins in green tea can actually inhibit iron absorption, so it's best to avoid drinking it with meals. Pregnant or breastfeeding women should limit their intake due to the caffeine content. And if you're on medications, especially blood pressure, blood thinner or heart medications, the EGCG in green tea may interact with them. So what's the bottom line? Making green tea a daily habit can support visceral fat loss as part of a healthy lifestyle. It's not a magic solution, but it can definitely be a valuable addition to a proper diet and exercise routine. And remember, always consult a healthcare provider if you have underlying health conditions or take medications. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe.